Hello, this is Steve, Dichroic Glass Man on YouTube, and now my latest channel, Stained Glass Man US on YouTube. This video is talking about Dichroic Glass. Never realized how many people don't realize, don't know, never heard of, or seen a sheet of Dichroic Glass. And they assume it, maybe it might be like stained glass, that it comes in big pieces. And that's not so, and I'm going to show you what a piece looks like. I unpacked the rest of the glass and then it dawned on me um, a couple days ago, wow, there's a lot of people have never seen a sheet of glass, so I left the sheet in the box. This is what it comes looking like. It comes in a big old cardboard box, of course, and you get your fragile, and then it comes in an inner box, all with packaging and stuff, and then you get a sheet of dichroic glass. So let's look at this sheet. This is a sheet of Dichro. And it's cyan red. And it's a 19 inch circle. So let's pull this dude out of here. With one hand. Hmm. Well, I didn't cut the bag enough. Anyway, this is a sheet of dichroic glass. It's a 19 inch circle. A lot of people seen dichroic glass looking like scraps. Looking like this. This is the traditional fusing glass. This is cyan copper. And this is thin clear. Read. And a lot of people have seen all these other things. Whether they've seen it at Delphi, whether they've seen it online, 4 inch by 4 inch squares. Well, that's not how it comes. It comes in a sheet like this, 19 inch circles, from CBS that is. And then a lot of us, what I do, is I make up my board. And this board, one of the pieces of cardboard that come out of the box, I sectioned up into 3 inch squares. And it gives me an idea how many squares I get out of a sheet. When you get a sheet of bullseye, they come as pumpkins. So notice this straight edge? round straight round and the reason being is because a sheet of bullseye glass if we turn it have a sheet of bullseye glass is only about 19 and a half inches wide so they're not going to make a circle with the glass coming right to the edge they want to cut they want to comfortably be able to cut the circle out and you can't cut a 19 inch circle out of a 19 inch wide sheet of glass because when you come to the edge a lot of times it breaks. So CBS glass cuts their circles out of a sheet of glass and when they get bullseye it comes as a, a narrower glass so they have to cut flat sides off as though the sheet of glass was only this wide and they're called pumpkins. But when you get other glass forms like spectrum glass which comes in 24 inch wide sheets it's very easy for them to get their it's very easy for them to get their their width in a full circle so you'll notice that if you've been buying a lot of dichro that some cases you get these pumpkins and that's because it's bullseye and then the other ones because they call it pumpkin this way if you can see this from a distance it looks like a pumpkin sort of with the stem that would have come off the top versus other forms of glass where they're able to get the full circle as you see in here so just thought people would like to see it. This is what a tag looks like when you get a sheet of glass. This is float. It's 062. So it's one and a half millimeters. CR means cyan red. And then it'll have the run number. And then this is the fourth sheet out of this run, 3922. Now I don't know if that run is just for cyan red or uh, only CBS knows what that number means. And the light value over here is 750, meaning this cyan red is 750. The next sheet of cyan red could be 752 or 754. And when that happens, what's happening is it's either getting lighter or darker. That's a very valuable number. A lot of people don't realize what that number is. That's 750. And all six sheets of glass that were coated in this chamber, or this machine has six chambers, for CBS, this is the fourth sheet of that run. 
Now whether they ran all these same size or same color, uh, same, same type of glass is irrelevant. All, um, all the glass in that run had to be cyan red and they'll all be light value 750. Whether it be sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4, 5, or 6. And all the sheets, it doesn't matter if one's clear and five are, are coated on black. It's kind of fascinating how Dicro's done anyway. And I'm not uh, allowed to really give out a whole lot of information. Um, as Howard at CBS has asked me not to do. So we'll just kind of keep it at that. Um, it's fun. It's fascinating. Dichroic is the most exciting glass I feel in the world. Um, it's magical to me. Um, so I love this stuff. Every application possible. I just thought I'd show folks what a sheet looks like as far as a full sheet. Maybe a little bit of explanation. And uh, how it comes. It comes in these little inner boxes and all this. I generally have pretty good luck when I get a sheet. By the way, right now if you're ordering glass because of the cold chill, one of the sheets was broke. And more than likely, because um, of the cold. Um, another, well actually two sheets were broke by the edge. Minimum breakage. For the application I'm going to use it for, it's just fine. But you might want to keep that in mind when you're ordering glass. Maybe you live in a warm area. But the glass is coming from California and once it travels across the nation and gets cold, Something's going to happen. It changes the stability of the glass. So, anyway, just a couple little things about dichroic glass. Thanks for watching my videos as always. And check out my new website at dichroicglassman.com. Thank you very much for uh, watching my videos. And all the, I'm thankful for all the kind comments that many people have given me. Thank you. Bye-bye.